Before we get into this video, I want to mention a little disclaimer that the video that you're about to watch is actually from my other YouTube channel called Team Ellie. Um, but I'm just using this video on this channel as well because I thought it would really help you guys out. So yeah, I haven't stolen the video or anything. It is mine. I'm just using it on two separate channels. Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about cancer survivor guilt. So this is something that I've been feeling for around a year now and I've been a bit apprehensive to talk about it online and on like my YouTube and social media because I felt guilty about being guilty. But recently I actually attended uh, the Find Your Sense of Tumour weekend run by Teenage Cancer Trust and they actually had a conference on that you know, explained a lot about this topic and it made me realise that I'm not the only one who feels this way and um, it is actually a big issue. So to the, in today's video I want to talk to you guys about my feelings towards cancer survivor guilt and also how to cope with cancer survivor guilt. Over this past year I've had a fair amount of friends who have passed away from cancer and I think that's what's really spiralled this cancer survivor guilt that I'm feeling inside because grief comes in many forms and for me it was almost bottling it up and thinking why them not me um, and you know in the cancer community you make such a tight knit group of friends and you all have such a strong bond with each other that when one of those friends passes away you almost feel feel responsible for them as if that if I've survived why haven't they and it's really hard to deal with because you almost feel start feeling responsible and you start feeling really guilty when in actual fact you should really just almost feel sad but also just try and remember that person um, for how amazing they were and try and almost move on in some way they wouldn't you know that person wouldn't want you feeling sad and guilty about their death they'd want you to get on with remission and um, do well and think about your own journey um, and I found like recently my friend amazing beautiful friend Sophia Gal passed away uh, from osteosarcoma and I remember when she told us that she was terminally ill, that was a big shock to us because I remember that me, um, Sophia and Mary Dalton, we had a group chat called Sarcoma Sisters and we were always saying to each other, we're going to get through this together, we're going to all survive, uh, we're going to meet up one day, but that's just never going to happen now because Sophia passed away and that was really hard to deal with because I almost felt guilty that she passed away because you know you never want to see one of your friends pass away and it's almost as if say you get in a car crash uh, say there's four of you in the car you all sustain um, similar injuries but you survive and then the rest of the people in the car pass away you almost feel guilty that you were the one that survived um, and it's hard to explain to someone because uh, whenever whenever I have kind of told anyone about this, they've felt they've told me um, try and think about yourself and try and think about your own journey and try and um, you know just live life from remission and uh, you know they've kind of just told me quite logically that not everyone survives and you've kind of got to accept that. But I find it very hard, like very difficult to accept that and. I found, um, I've also found it extremely difficult when uh, my friends with the exact same cancer as me, exact same stage of cancer as me, have passed away. So recently, my amazing friend Holly passed away from stage 4 alveolar rhabdomyosarcoma and that was extremely difficult to deal with because I felt as if I was like the lucky one and um, why did she pass away and not me? We had the exact same cancers, exact same diagnosis, exact same treatment, yet it worked for me and not for her. So that is, it's hard to get your head around, it's really, and it, it is a real burden on your mind, um, and you start feeling as if, am I next? Uh, I feel like, oh my god, am I, 
am I going to relapse next? Am I, um, is it inevitable that I'm just going to pass away from this cancer? I feel like I feel a similar sort of feeling when my friends relapse, especially those with the exact same cancer as me, because I feel as if um, why have they relapsed and not me? Like, what do I deserve to survive um, and, you know, not go through this whole horrible journey again? Why do they deserve to go through this horrible cancer journey again? Like, oh, it's, it's just mind blowing and mind boggling and it is a real burden on my mind sometimes, but I think my biggest advice that I could ever give to anybody is just, remember that, uh, you know, those people that have passed away wouldn't want you feeling this way. They want you to live life in remission as they wish that they could have done. So just try and live life to the full for them. And then I also say that everyone's so different. Um, even if you do have the same cancer, um, everyone reacts differently to the treatment. So it's not a, uh, you know, single cut thing. Um, you know, some survive, some don't. It, that's a re harsh reality of cancer. My last piece of advice is uh, just to be there for those people who are terminally ill and be there for those people until they finally pass away. I think that's the best thing that you can do um, because, um, you know, I find with cancer survivor guilt, you're almost self-loathing, you think about yourself a lot, whereas if you have amazing memories with those people, who have passed away, then you can think of that rather than just directing all the grief that you're feeling on yourself and, you know, inflicting pain on yourself. You know, you can just think about all the amazing memories that you have with that person instead. And yeah, that's literally it. It's, it's a really hard thing to cope with, um, but you will cope, you do cope. Um, you've just got to try and stay positive and stay strong for yourself as well and you have to, you really have to accept that not everyone is going to survive and I know that's the hardest thing because when you have cancer friends you want to all survive together and be there for each other but that's a harsh reality of cancer, it doesn't, it just doesn't happen, um, it, it, you know, and yeah, that's all I can really say, to be honest, because it's one of those things that it, no one can really get their head around it, and it is something that you just have to deal with day to day, there's no magical cure for it. I wish that all of my friends will survive from cancer, but the harsh reality is that some of them won't. But yeah, um, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making this video just because um, you know, I'm sure that some of you out there will be feeling similar thoughts to me. So do let me know in the comments because I'll love to read um, about your experiences as well. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to like and subscribe this video. And yeah, I'll see you next time.